How do you know when you have an infestation of inchworms? Oh, what's he doing, Jay? Is he inching? I'm inching. I'm inching. <laughs> Alright, so we are at this little park and we have discovered some kind of invasive species of inchworm that are everywhere. They're falling from the trees and they're just falling all over us. There are two right there and there's one there and there's one there. Alex is having some kind of meltdown because he doesn't want inchworms landing on him so he had to leave. Fucking worm? Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out what you are. I'm a yes worm. Uh, oh, that one's a caterpillar, my love. This one has legs all over because he's a caterpillar. They both have. Oh no! Look. Oh, Alex. They look yeah. like butterfly legs. Hey, look at Mama. Mama. green. They're both green. You're right, Joe. Both green. Mama. Yes, bud. Look at that one's going down. He's hanging, isn't he? Yes. At his back feet. He's specifically using my hair. Hold on. That's funny. He's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> see a boat. You see a boat? a boat? Yeah! I see a red yeah. boat over there. <laughs> Not gonna work. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Both of them are peeing. Inchworms think I'm a nice boy. Inchworms think you're a nice boy? That's why we love you. Inchworms are free fun and when they go on you. It's gigantic. It's got big farms on it. It's weird they can coordinate all these legs. Yeah. I can't even manage with two. I don't like spiders at all. <laughs> what? Whoa. I got a present for y'all. What is it? Look what it is. Oh, good. <laughs> Here, Joe. Listen. <laughs> wow. Do you, do you know why I get so Ow, oh God, that present hurts a lot. So I haven't really vlogged much this week because um, everything kind of got crazy after we moved in. So I guess that with ripping out the carpets, we didn't really know if we should put stuff upstairs or not. And so everything got piled in the dining room. Kind of a split second, very haphazard decision. I did, it's, yeah, very regrettable decision. So instead of having just one floor of the house messy until we figure out the carpet situation, right now we have both of the floors messy. And so, you know, Alex is off of work today and we're making this a day about the kids. Tomorrow we are having Nana and Grandpa come over to watch the kids so that we can get a bunch of stuff done. But I mean, you know, people have been asking to see the house, so I'll kind of show you this messy place that we're living in right now. Daddy's, Daddy's cleaning everybody's feet vigorously. This is the living room currently. We have one of our couches here. If you remember, our couch was like a sectional and the other piece didn't fit anywhere. And so I'll show you where that is. The other couch is there, the TV's not set up, so the kids were just watching a show on the computer right now. These, you probably remember them from our last place. I actually think we're getting rid of them and getting something else because I just find like three huge pieces of furniture in a row just too much. So yeah, probably getting rid of those. Um, and then this room is probably going to be painted a gray and then I saw some really pretty curtains that are like white with little tiny blue flowers on them. Then. The dining room, which is the place that got the worst of the craziness in the house. It's basically just crazy. It's not usable at all. This is something that it got on Kijiji a couple of months ago with plans of redoing it to put in this dining room and I just never got a chance yet. I'm going to sand it and I'm going to um, paint it probably either blue or green and distress it. I'm changing all of the knobs and handles to rope poles. So yeah, that's probably gonna be on that wall in the dining room. And then I don't know what else is gonna go in here because I thought the room was smaller. And if you look at the size of the table, compared to the entire room. It's really not a lot of furniture to have in this room, so I have to figure out how to make it look good. The kitchen is probably the thing that's the most unpacked in the whole house. And if you guys remember from my first house tour, a piece of their kitchen was right there. 
like just standing in the middle of the kitchen and I did not like that at all. So I got rid of it and then I realized now there are no drawers in the kitchen and so I'm just gonna get like a dresser but dress it up nicely and put it on this wall. And so as of right now, all of our kitchen stuff that belongs in drawers is kind of still in boxes. Those are all empty boxes and recycling and ooh, the best discovery, the fridge doesn't work or rather that it does work but it doesn't work in a very energy efficient way. If you hear, it's on right now like it's actively cooling and that's kind of what it's doing all the time it doesn't ever stop so possibly tomorrow we need to buy a new fridge which is great because we already need to buy a new washer and dryer as you can see we started painting the kitchen we're painting all the trim white this has not been finished yet in fact none of the trim has really been finished yet except for this one piece right here so this is what it's gonna all look like after and then I'm gonna take this very very non-vegan border off of the wall with the milk, butter, and eggs that are all up there. This is weird. So I thought that the people that had lived here before were trying to encourage some kind of like Cinderella mouse through the house situation. And then I realized that this is actually a corner. So like if you see, the, the stuff goes around the trim. And so it's almost like there was a wall going this way. And actually you can feel it's slanted inwards right here. So. It's almost like this portion of the house from here onwards was different, yeah. like it didn't exist as it is now. In the front hall, right now I have my chest and my sewing table here, but they will not both be here. There is going to be just the chest. The sewing table is probably going to end up in the dining room just because there's no furniture in there and it's nice. So The stairs have been completely stripped of carpets and nails and everything else and Alex has been researching how to sand the floors or what we should do with them. We got a quote for carpet upstairs today. It was quite a bit. <laughs> So upstairs right now, it's kind of crazy. This room is still filled with the carpets and they smell so, so badly that we have put tape up and down the whole thing. This room has all the boxes that came out of the dining room because it was just a really dangerous situation having them all piled like that in the dining room. The bathroom, it's working on being painted. We are going to replace this whole thing. Yeah, then the bathroom will be done. We've done absolutely nothing to the attic yet. And to the bedroom, this is where we are all sleeping right now. James and Joe are both sleeping on that single mattress there and mommy and daddy are sleeping up there. All of our dressers, all of our clothes, every single thing that we use on a daily basis is in this room and we just laid our living room carpet and our playroom carpet on the floor in order to fill this room right now. So this room is where the last piece of the couch went. And the funny thing is, it actually fit perfect in the bay window. I am planning on putting like a custom bench that Alex and I are gonna make ourselves in the window, but for now, that's in the window. And in the morning, it's actually really nice to just sit and look out the window and feel the fresh air and stuff like that. And then the backyard, which I don't think I ever showed you guys, it was a huge, huge mess. There was a really, really big pool in the backyard and it was actually a brand new pool. First of all, we didn't want a pool and secondly, it was taking up most of the yard and I just thought that we would get much more use out of putting grass down and the trampoline and stuff like that. And so we actually just gave the pool away for free to another family in the area that has eight kids. And so the dad is currently draining the pool and taking it all apart and folding it all up. Yeah, so as you can see, um, <laughs> the whole house is a big work in progress. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, Jay? Hanging upside down. That's really strange. You know what the worst part about this house is? What? That I'm trying to clean something that should be clean, like the mantle, and I actually had to use two cloths to clean it. Because it's so brown, disgusting. And I'm, I'm just pushing on dirty water. I mopped twice with cleaner, once with the steam mop, and it's still dirty. <laughs> I mopped twice in the other room with the steam mop. I can do it a third time. Alex, th this will give everybody an idea. Here is the wall. Which is the way they all the And walls that's work. how all the walls in the house were, because I have not washed this to even prep for painting it yet. I washed, I've already washed all of these walls, and these walls are still there. I ripped out carpets, I had to put on a, an N95 asbestos mask. <laughs> I just realized I was breathing in people's skin and hair. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, there hasn't been much progress made other than a little bit of painting in the kitchen, um, cleaning out the whole kitchen, starting to unpack the kitchen. We went and did all of our research on like what cabinet we were putting in the bathroom and stuff like that. You know, there's there's been a whole bunch of stuff done, but it doesn't look like it because it's so crazy in here. But yeah, tomorrow is a new day and we're gonna get as much stuff done as possible while the kids are occupied and then we'll have 
a teeny tiny itty bitty little bit of normal in this entire house. So yeah, and that's all that I'm gonna say for now and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.